13, someday 14, 15. I gotta say, the Kinvara 11. Hello, DGR. Welcome back to the studio. Man, oh man, I'm injured. I'm injured right now. I'll get you more updates later in the week, the full updates. Right now, you know the task when you're injured as a runner. For You gotta find the, find the issue. We really don't know what's wrong at this point. And so, I will get you updates on what I've been doing. Obviously, I've been going to the doctor. That's what this is for, but I'm gonna see multiple doctors multiple PTs, probably multiple massage therapists. We are strategizing, we're gonna make it through. So if you have a running injury out there, don't give up, don't give up, don't ever give up. All right, everybody. But it also means the art of the pivot. You got a little more time. YouTube is all about pivoting. It's the, it's the, it's the essential ingredient for being successful on YouTube when things don't go as planned like today. It's actually a beautiful thing. I did a poll. Sorry, we will get to the running shoe battle here in a minute. Yes, it is the Saucony Kinvara 12 versus the 13, okay? Plus, actually, I also have the 11. All right, there it is, but we won't be talking too much about that shoe. Here's the deal. I know many of you watch just for the running shoe reviews. In fact, I ran a poll. It's over on the, actually, here it is. Go to the homepage of the channel, click on community, and it should be the first post there, and you can see all the results from a poll, all right? And it's, I think it's too late to vote now, but if you care to chime in in the comments as to why you watch this YouTube channel, I would appreciate it. And yes, it does connect to running shoe reviews. So that's what we're doing now. We're injured, we pivot, we pivot. So shall we dive in? Here we go, everybody. Saucony Kinvara 12 is the blue one. This is 2021 versus running shoe battle, Saucony Kinvara 13. All right, the yellow one over here. And nobody was, not a ton of people were asking for this running shoe battle, but if you're looking for a nimble, uh, understep, a nimble shoe, a lightweight shoe, not, not incredibly peppy, but just like you feel very in control of your biomechanics and gait cycle when you're running in either of these shoes, that's why I decided to pull them out of the archive today and do a running shoe battle. There we go, here's the weights on your screen. Let's fire up the scale there. There's, if I, I believe we have all the weights for the women's size eight, men's size nine. In my size, Kinvara 12, 6.9, basically 6.9 ounces right there. And the Kinvara 13, I think we're looking at 6.6. .6. Oh, 6.5 here. So not quite a half an ounce lighter, but yes, it did win the running shoe battle for the weight. Uh, losing, if you can drop, a, that's actually fairly significant one from one iteration to the next. All right, we're looking at an engineered mesh. Did I already do the drop? 24, 28 for the drop. 24, 28 for the drop in these shoes. All right, engineered mesh. Although, here we go. Huge improvement through the toe box. So lockdown score and overall upper score is gonna show up on your screens right now. Great job there, Saucony. Lighter, more breathable, better for hot weather running. I would, man, I might even have to, in these hot summer months, once I'm back to running, uh, I wouldn't mind taking this shoe back out for some more miles. It's just, yeah, just for a little, uh, well, I'll tell you how I'll use this shoe moving forward. But anyway, it is winning the battle for the overall score, mostly because of that. Um, mostly because of that breathability. But it is a very similar lockdown, which is why the uh, scores are tied at the same midsole power run, midsole material, and the durometer, according to my scale, did get a little softer, a little more pep, a little more, just a little more bounce. Not a ton, but a little more from last year to this year, and I love it. So I'm getting, let's see, 47, okay? So it's a, it's not soft, all right? If you're expecting a very soft, this is not the Rebel V2, even though it's in the same, very similar weight category as the Rebel V2, which should be right here. Speaking of, let's just put it on 33, all right? So Rebel V2, 33, Saucony Kinvara 13 uh, is coming in at 47, 48. And the Kinvara 12 is actually even more firm, keeping in mind, midsoles do age, all right? So they, they get older, 
air exposure, sun exposure, exposure to every, all the elements, and they, the midsole materials will start to harden just a little bit over time. So this is coming in at more like 52.53 for the Shore C Durometer score. Moving on to the outsole, very similar outsoles. Let me just confirm the, all right, one second, one second. Yes, it is the same, oh, wrong shoe. It is the same outsole pattern. Love it, just absolutely love it. Exposed midsole foam and rubber, it just like, this is my type of outsole, okay? If you prefer an outsole that will get more life, life expectancy out of it, this might not be the outsole for you. But I love it there, but it is getting a tie. Fit, oh man. This wasn't the best fit of 2022, but it, it locked over my anatomical foot so, so well. The top, it just amazing fit, all right? Let's do the heel counter as well, okay? Pretty uh, pretty nimble there, and I do remember, if you prefer a little more heel lockdown, I would maybe lean in the direction of picking up the Convara 12, which yes, they are available down below in the description, and I'll tell you about the price point here in a minute. Comfort score, ooh, by a nose, we got the uh, Convara 13 winning, mostly because that midsole is ever so slightly softer, all right? Durability prediction, I am going with the Convara 13, all right? I think the enhancements, mostly because of the upper enhancements, um, the, just to the touch, all right? It's hard to obviously show you on screen, but this feels not as well constructed for the upper, and I haven't seen too many reports from all of you out there, by the way, if you have either of these shoes and you wanna share some pictures about the wear of the shoes, info at demoreglobalrunning.com, most of you know that by now, but it feels to the touch. Obviously, I didn't take this shoe to 500 miles, but if you did, email me pictures, but the upper feels better constructed compared to the Kinvara 12. In the Kinvara 13, how will I use these shoes? Let's just focus on this guy, I mean tweener, we can go to the track and rip some 800s. We can go do, uh, I would even, I would go do a tempo day. I'd go do a daily trainer day. Probably not middle distance, it's a little too long, but definitely you can do multiple um, multiple tasks within your training regimen in the Saucony Kinvara 13. Keeping in mind, strong ankles, strong foot strike. Make sure you're in control of your foot strike and because the shoe is not gonna be helping you out at all through your biomechanics price point. Whoa! -ho! All right, initially, out of the box, Kinvara 12 wins, $110, $119. However, if you wanna pinch some pennies right now, I think I saw $54 at Running Warehouse. Again, linked below for the Kinvara. That's epic. I would buy the Kinvara now, and I think this guy is still at $119. It's probably gonna be another six months until the Convara 13 price comes down. I cannot wait for the, and why not? Let's just pull the Convara 11 right up here on top, 12, 13, someday 14, 15. I gotta say, the Convara 11 was, it was a good shoe, but man, they made a great jump forward from the 11 to the 12, and I'm gonna say they made a solid jump forward, not great, but solid jump forward from the 12 to the 13, and now we just wait for that 14 right there, right there, right there. Everybody, oh my goodness. Overall winner of the running shoe battle. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, King Barra 13. Eight, I think it won eight out of the 10 categories, and then there were two ties. Sorry, actually there might have been, I'm sorry, no, the Kinvara 12, uh, there's a lot of numbers coming. Kinvara 12, I believe, won the price category. Right out of the gate, brand new. But now, of course, the price is inflation, sales, everything going on economically around the world. So prices obviously fluctuate once the shoe is released. There you have it, everyone. 7.2 versus 8.15 once again. I'd buy the shoe again in a heartbeat. Jason, you get the comment of the day. My favorite road shoe has been the Asics Nova Blast 2. After months of mostly running in tempo-oriented shoes, I've really been feeling the wear on my joints. I decided to get a daily trainer to help me survive the rest of my marathon training block and chose these based on your review of the shoe. I think he was, he's talking about the Nova Blast 2. I've worn them twice now and the ride is fantastic. That's great to hear, Jason. He goes on sharing more. Jason Hunter, you get the comment of the day. Question of the day. What apps, you know, I'm always interested in just learning like how the world is working and how the world is communicating and how the world is functioning and our lives have changed in the last decade plus. So what apps, let's do your top three apps that you use the most. 
okay? Now that's hard. Obviously you can track them, I think somehow, but just anyway, I'll, I'll be curious. If you wanna break it down like running apps and then just all the other apps, that would be cool. Anyway, yeah, it'd be interesting to read. Everybody's comments on that down below. We will toss it to the Saucony Kinvara 13 full review. Right here, right here, right here. Saucony Kinvara 13 full review. Right there, right there, right there. All right, thanks for tuning in. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.